All right, what's up, fam? You are back with your girl, Jen Ether. We're here for another episode of Gods and Goddesses, Weather Report Tarot Readings. Today, we're going to do Sagittarius, tap into the love energy of Sagittarius. So, <clears throat> like, in the middle of work. So, I wanted to get on here real quick while I got a little bit of time before I have stuff to do. And my job's kind of laid back so I can do at least one reading while I'm here. But basically, I didn't have time to get into any type of meditation for y'all. So instead of meditation, we're going to do just the pre-shuffle cards. So the cards that like try to show themselves or pop out during this pre-shuffle. All right, so the first card that I saw was the Fool card. So a lot of you guys could be thinking about taking a leap of faith. Now, the, a leap of faith into something new, a leap of faith into like the unknown, something you're not familiar with, brand new territory. So the next card that I kind of gave that away is the death card, which is you finishing out an old cycle and stepping into something new, something that is unheard of for you. It's brand new. You're walking into the shadow side. You don't know exactly where you're going because you haven't done it before. So the next card that got pulled or that was uh, popping out, making itself visible, visible was uh, the star card. So this is your card, Sagittarius. So... You guys could be in pursuits of becoming a star. Some of you guys are already like actually in a superstar room, whether you're like an actor, a, a rapper, musician, whatever it may be. Or some of you guys are in pursuits of becoming a star or the person that is going to be your potential partner or your partner that you're currently dealing with is a star in their own right. Whether it be a movie star, a rap star. Uh, athlete or just someone who's very very popular throughout their community or on social media so the next card you guys was temperance where it just shows you guys trying to balance everything out so whatever's going on with what whatever this leap of faith is about with the full card and this death you still have your big dreams that you're approaching so it's like you're trying to find balance in between making this new or ending this cycle, starting something new, but still balancing it out so you can get to where you want to ultimately be. So then the next card that came out was the Ace of Cups. So you guys are definitely going after something or after someone that will give you emotional fulfillment. Uh, the Ace of Cups for me is like fulfillment. It's definitely emotional fulfillment. That's the number one thing. But for me, it's pretty much everything is fulfilled. So I feel like this person you could even see as a good mate for what you even want to do career-wise, like a good helpmate. <clears throat> then we had the Page of Swords, so whoever this person is, you could be spying on them, or they could be spying on you. And the Six of Cups symbolizes you guys could be taking care of your child, um, of your children, or you're just thinking back on your own childhood memories. Maybe whatever you put a death to had something to do with how you were brought up. Like maybe it was uh, just based upon traditions that were given to you by your family so now you're trying to <clears throat> balance out and look back into your past and your childhood to see like okay how did why did this happen or why is this going on like this let me take a step back into my childhood and reevaluate the certain things and principles that i live by just in general so you guys could be doing that or you guys could just be thinking back on your childhood memories or the person that you're dealing with is someone that you have dealt with in the past because the Six of Cups is always talking about memories. So this person that's coming back to you that you want a new beginning with, want to take your leap of faith with, is actually someone from your past. And I, I believe not from a, let's say like give it like a year, six months to a year, two years past. Not like two weeks you just broke up with someone and now, bada boom, that's not a past. That's the future. That's the present. You know so, let's use my new oracle cards. I just added like 30 more cards this morning to pull for your energy. What is Sagittarius' overall energy and love? What's Sagittarius' oh, three cards? Oh, maybe four. I think it's three. So the first card we pulled is, I keep our connection a secret to protect the union. So this is how you're feeling. There could be someone that you want to deal with. You'll have to reverse the energies yourself. I'm not doing it for you guys, but this is someone who's who you're saying that you keep the connection a secret to protect your union with this person. So it's like you feel like if this union was to go come out, especially when you're dealing with that. Uh, 
if, like I said, if both of you guys are popular, like the star car suggests, then you don't want to necessarily expose. You may not want to expose, especially if both of you guys are super popular. You may not want to expose that you're dealing with each other because you know everyone's going to be in your business off top. And we all know how that goes in relationships. So the next card that came out for you is, I'm calling soon. So you want to give this person a call soon. Like I said, this is also representing, like, because I made these cards, I know the energy behind them. When I made this, I'm calling soon. This is for someone that you have spoken with or you had a relationship with, some type of friendship, some type of communication, but you guys haven't spoke in a long time. So you're just letting them know that you will be calling soon. Now the next card for your energy is in the closet. So this is still... I'm going to say, speaking to the first card, where they said, I'm keeping our connection, or where you said, I'm keeping our connection a secret to protect the union. So you're keeping this connection in the closet. You don't want to expose the connection. So now let's let's pull some more cards. Let's get like four more cards for Sagittarius and love. Whatever is most important to come out. Let's get four more cards. What Sagittarius needs to know about their love life. What's important for Sagittarius to know about their love life? What is important for Sagittarius to know? Oh, also, that's funny. When uh, in the pre-shuffle, as I was uh, shuffling the cards, the mailman delivered the mail. So it's like, even with the I'm calling soon, some of you guys, guys may not be calling. Some of you guys will be sending out text messages. Or maybe some of you guys are going super old school and really doing the, uh, the snail mail route. But you guys could be receiving something in the mail from this person, even if it's like a gift or something. Or they could be receiving something in the mail from you, whether text message, direct message, you know. <clears throat> okay, let's get two more cards. Two more cards for what Sagittarius needs to know. <clears throat> What's going on with Sagittarius and love? Too many. Two more cards. The world card wanted to pop out, and that Six of Cups, the memories card, too. All right, the fool popped out like it did in the pre-shuffle or wanted to. So, yeah, like a, and a temperance card. So, yeah, you guys right now are in a state of finding balance. And I believe even this card came out, like, right up under the I'm keeping our connection a secret to protect our union. So, it's almost like... I'm feeling like you guys almost damn near can't keep it a secret anymore. You're trying to find balance within the secret. Maybe you guys are even dealing with someone else because we see a three-party situation right here. Now, this card could mean celebrations, three people getting together. But <clears throat> with so many secrets and keeping this thing in the closet and trying to find balance around the secret of the connection, this is making me feel like definitely in your present moment, you are actually in a connection with someone else and the third party is the party that you want to keep the connection a secret to protect the union and that's also the person that you want to call soon you want to take a leap of faith to do this so let's clarify three of cups just to see what's going on with that energy why is the three of cups here for sagittarius in love why is three of cups here for sagittarius in love why are the three of cups here for sagittarius in love Why right, well, is the Three of Cups here for Sagittarius and Love? What's up with this Three of Cups? No spirit, guys. Fan deep. Let's go. Oh, nope, too many. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I'm taking them. They fit. So it's like. <clears throat> You got this Three of Cups third party situation I'm looking at. So it's one or two things. There's two groups showing up. So for some of you guys, you guys are just really keeping the connection a secret purely because you don't want people in your business. There is no three party at all. But you know if you can find balance within this connection, you can get together with this person and have an actual Three of Cups celebration moment. So that's one group. You're, you want this moment because you know this person is your ultimate son. This is your happy moment. This is what you've been waiting for. But you're still in the hangman position about it. 
And being in this position trying to find this temperance is causing you to have a heavy load. But the passion is here. Now, that's one group. Now, for the second group is what I said before. You guys are actually in a relationship, a connection with someone else. But you cannot get your mind off of this other person. And you want to give them a phone call soon. So you're trying to find balance within the situation that you're in and the situation that you want to be in. Because you know this person's your son. But you're in this hangman situation because just holding in this uh, secret and staying in this third party is a heavy burden for you. And you find passion with this other person. So now let's clarify the fool. Where's the fool going? Yeah, the fool. Some of you guys could be dealing with the earth sign. That is Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo. Or Capricorn. Yeah, you uh, all right, yeah, you guys are wanting to be the fool. You guys are trying to manifest this partnership with this other person cuz you see them as being able to bring you this ace of pentacles. This is a divine wish. This is what everyone wants. This is definitely financial stability, but this is someone that you can trust in. Someone that's going to bring a stable offer in and they're not going to go anywhere. This is a slower moving person, but their offer is always very stable. So, you want to take a a fool's leap into this person's life because you know that there will be stability and you'll definitely be able to have your partnerships. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a soulmate, divinely guided partnership. You also see this person as being well-equipped. The queen or the empress, I should say, this is the empress. She embodies all four queens. So she's emotionally stable. She's financially stable. She got her passion together and she can also communicate with them swords. So, you know, this person comes with the full package and y'all can make something shake together. I almost feel like this magician will represent not even just you manifesting, but also the power that you guys will have when you come together as a couple. Y'all will both manifest this power of the magician and be able to make shit shake. This will be the thing that gives you your strength. So both of you guys, just because I'm getting the strength card and this is all like really just me channeling at this point, but with me getting the strength card. And saying, I mean, the yeah, the strength card. And then saying that the, I feel like the magician will symbolize both of you guys. Just the, the magicry inside of the union once you guys get together. I also feel like in some way, both of you guys will be strengthening each other. Or if you've been in a situation that was a lack, let's say lackluster or something that just didn't pay off for you in love. I feel like this person also has been through similar trials and tribulations in love. And you guys are going to come together to give each other strength and to heal each other. And once that happens, y'all turn into the magician. So now let's see how your person, Sag, feels about you. As you feel great about them. You see them as being a manifesting beast, an empress, someone that can bring the full package. Let's see how they feel about you. Let's pull some oracles again for them. We'll get three oracle love cards to see how your person feels about you, Sag. Two more cards for how Sag this person feels about them. Two more cards for how Sag this person. One more card for how Sag this person feels about them. One more card. One more car. Yep, got it. Okay. Okay, your person says your person is still with their karmic partner. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to. I wrote this as karmic partner for me. But this doesn't necessarily have to be a karmic partner. They could just be around karmic people in general, people that are against your connection. So it could be a family member, brother, sister, mom, aunt, cousin. It could be uh, good friends. It could be anything that is hindering you two from being together. Anything that's stopping your partner from wanting to come towards you. But your partner also wants to tell you that they know they're on a new journey. And this is very ironic because it's right up under your car saying, I'm calling you soon. So you're calling them soon. And they know they're on a new journey. So it's almost like they may be anticipating your phone call. 
the next card that pulled for their energy, what they want to tell you is that you mean the world to them. So you mean the world to them. So let's see what's up with this karmic situation. What's going on with Sagittarius's partner in the karmic? What's going on with Sagittarius's partner and their karmic? I don't know. Hold up. We shuffle. Now it looks like your person is tapping into their high priest energy so they can find the strength or use their intuition to get out of the situation. But we'll see. Your person also seems to be worried about money. Maybe them and their karmic. Maybe they're married in some type of business together where it's not so easy for them to get from up under them because they have finances wrapped up together. Uh, your person also has been going through the dark side of their selves. So they've been facing their demons. So let's see. What's going on with Sagittarius's person and this karmic? Why is Sagittarius's person still with the karmic? Or what would be the outcome of Sagittarius's person and the karmic? One more card. Let's see what they wore since they flew out. Taking them. Yeah, this one. Yep, that flew out too. Taking them. Okay, so yeah, your person is still with this karmic. And your person was in the past... Very, very, very clouded judgment. All these options didn't really know what to do, but they've actually turned around now and know that you are the choice for them. So they want to rush in. They do want to rush in with this Knight of Swords. Either that or your person, their karmic, who they're dealing with, has a lot of options, a whole bunch of options, and their karmic plays the role of the knight of swords who is really speedy delivery like he rushes in and rushes out they don't stick around long so this may be why your your person is trying to leave the karmic because it's just not a steady relationship so they're using their intuition to get past any type of mental confusion they're going to this tour to a swords uh position to really meditate and really try to see things from an intuitive position so they can manifest their real soulmate connection. A true, true eye to eye. They're looking at each other eye to eye. Eye to eye. It's like drink chance. Eye to eye. Eye to eye. You know what I mean? Eye to eye soulmate connection. That's what they're looking for. That's what they're manifesting. While they're in this two of swords position, they're manifesting this eye to eye situation. And they're going to rush in to call you or you're going to rush in to call them because this card, the rushing in card, flew up on top of I'm calling you soon. So you could be really feeling like you want to rush in to call this person, but this person is going to be cutting out a lot of things in their life that no longer serves them so they can have a new beginning and step into this emperor embodiment. They want to step into their emperor power, which is great because you showed up as the empress so they're definitely this is definitely a divinely guided partnership you guys are equally yoked with them with you showing up as the empress and them showing up as the emperor this is definitely i mean a match made in heaven for the most part so now let's see what your person wants to tell you or no let's see what the blockages are what would be the blockages for you guys what's the blockages What's the blockages? The blockages. Secrets. This woman is very in intuitive, but she also will keep things to herself. So because this came out as a block, usually this is one of the best cards you could get, but because it came out as a blockage, I feel like you guys need to clear up any type of secrets or any type of confusion that you guys might have in between each other, especially if this is a connection from the past and there's been some time. A lot of times time can actually build a lot of uh, fuzziness and confusion. So I feel like you guys will just have to clear up any type of confusion. If there's been any type of uh, untruths or half-truths told, they would need to be cleared up. What are the other blockages? Two more cards for blockages for Sagittarius in person. 
Two more cards for the blockages between Sagittarius and the person. Two more cards for the blockages between Sagittarius and the person. Two more cards. I kind of want to take that card, but we'll see if it pops out. It was the Five of Swords, which is mental confusion. Which is also like the High Priestess card, too. Could also represent mental confusion. So, you guys may want to uh, go into meditation if you guys have been working too hard. Or just not really taking your time out to really sit back and give yourself the proper time and meditation to figure this one out. Also, you guys are going to have to find balance. Now, when... When I see balanced, one thing, because this card popped out again too. So you're going to have to find balance within your situation and you're going to have to end your third party. Like if you've been able to use your intuition to know who your soulmate is and know who you're supposed to be with, you're going to have to find, I'm, I'm guessing that the balance will have to be if you guys are, if you and your partner, your current partner have any type of money ties, if you have any type of children, anything like that, that still keeps you banded, you're going to have to find balance within those situations so you can actually in this third party situation and move towards your soulmate. So that's your blockages. The third party is a, a huge blockage. You possibly not using your intuition to even figure out how to find the balance in between this is a blockage. And there could be lies and deceit also on either side, which are definitely also a blockage. So what will be that outcome? For Sagittarius for October. This is mid-October to end. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? What's the outcome? Okay, so the outcome for you for this month and the end of this month is basically, this is, I'm going to say this is your outcome and also advice at the same time, but both of you can't believe how real this connection is. This is on both ends because this is the outcome. So you both, I believe this month are really coming into the, the true uh, meat of the facts. Like, okay, this just is what it is. There's no getting around it. There's no denying it. This connection is real. It's finna. You feel me? And y'all both can't really believe how real this thing is. So also the outcome for mid to the end is both of you guys, like I said, I think this is for both of you guys, will be living your best lives. So whatever it is that you guys do, as far as uh, if you are superstars or if you're on your way to, you know, acting or just running your social media pages, doing your marketing, all that stuff, you guys will be living your best lives from mid to the end of October. So the money will be good. People will be checking at y'all. Y'all be getting the attention and the accolades that you deserve and that you've worked hard for. Another thing that will happen is that you and possibly the other person will both realize that you are with karmics. And for some of you guys, you will realize that this person I'm talking about is actually your karmic. So take it how it resonates. I don't know where you guys fall at because I don't know y'all's story, but this month, the mid to the end of October, you're going to realize that the person you're with currently in this third party with is a karmic, or you're going to realize that this person we've been speaking about the whole damn reading is your karmic. Also, you're going to figure out that your siblings just don't understand the connection. You, Some of you guys may figure out that your siblings just don't understand you as a person. Like, y'all just can never see eye to eye. So that might be something, but it's definitely going to say that your siblings don't understand the connection, especially for you guys who have been in a relationship with someone else for what four five six seven eight nine ten years and you start bringing around this new person talking about this is my soulmate your siblings might be like well we know tommy what we don't understand this connection you feel me what's up with uncle tommy so you will have your siblings even other family members even friends that may not understand this connection and you'll realize that from mid to end month so even when that happens this is why you're finding your temperance and not really saying much because 
what's the point in talking to people about a strong connection that they'll never understand? You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like meaningless. So the last piece of advice and the last thing or outcome for this month of October, mid to the end of October, is you aren't my type, but that's what makes you so fucking sexy. So it's like, I feel like both of you guys in the past, I may even both kind of played each other like, ah, you know, like I had the chemistry. Y'all knew you, you liked each other, but maybe in the past, it just wasn't enough for y'all to even leave. If you guys were both in relationships back then, it wouldn't have been enough for you guys to like split up from who you had. But I feel like with the time, the time that's gone past, you guys have both been able to realize like this connection is so real and you aren't my usual type. I don't usually go for people like you, but. With this uh, time lapse and me not being able to see you for so long, I'm realizing, like, it don't even matter. Like, the fact that you aren't my usual type is what makes you so sexy. And I also made this car in mind of, like, a lot of us, we have certain types, but those types aren't the best for us. So it's like, I feel like both you and this person is realizing, like, damn, I've been messing around with the wrong type. You're my type. Even though I like, you know, I may like how the others look or like what the others say. But as far as like someone I can build with, be stable with, really have a family with, and we get this bread together, you're my type. So that's going to be your outcome for mid to the end of October. I right, Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you resonate with this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you can be notified when I come on with further videos. And also, if you resonate it and you want me to go deeper into your specific story and tap into your energies, then just go down to the description box and all the info will be below for my personal readings. I'm running a nice special right now, so they're very reasonable. All right, y'all. Have a good one, and I hope this was very helpful to y'all. I'm out of here, Sag. Peace.